How many have come to bless the Lord on today? This is the time of year that there is a celebration going on. Yeah. I happened to graduate yesterday from Carolina College. Amen. With a bachelor's of uh, biblical studies and a minor in biblical counseling. Amen. Yeah. But I did not achieve what I achieved on my own. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because yeah. if it had not been for God, yeah. Amen. I could not be able to achieve it. But what I was thinking about is what, when the, uh, the professor, uh, he had asked everybody to hold their applause until everybody had come across the stage. Uh -huh. and, 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 and you know, uh, some of us that when we're excited to have a member to come from a long way, and I tell you, I, I believe I did about four years at that college uh -huh. and everything, but when he was telling them to Hold oh, their applause to everybody came across the stage. And you know some of us and everything, when we got somebody, we know how they've been staying in the, in the race for a long time. And when they came across the stage, everybody, you know, began to yell that person name out. Amen. Because of the accomplishments that they have obtained. And uh, that brings me to my scripture on today. Let us go to two. Philippians 3, verses 4 through 8. Amen. Philippians 3, verses 4 through 8. Amen. And it reads, Hallelujah. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any man think of that he might, he have whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, mm -hmm. of the tribe of Benjamin, mm -hmm. a Hebrew of Hebrews, yeah. as touching the law, a Pharisee, mm -hmm. concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But that, but what things were gained to me, those things I counted loss for Christ. Uh -huh. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, Amen. that I might 
when Christ, Father God, now in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. we come before you, O oh God, we bow down at your feet. We trust you on today. Emmanuel reign in this house, rule and abide in it now and forever. Father God, we're bowing at your feet. We humbly submit unto you, God, and the word, Father God, of my mouth, O oh God, is your words in which you have given unto me. Yes. And Father God, let us as believers trust in your word and father god pray to you that we will have the strength to walk them out in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. and amen. Amen. amen amen you may be seated amen jewish legalists thought that they had it all together they looked down on the gentiles and pressed them to follow the law Paul was prepared to put them in check. Yeah. See, they thought that having the flesh cut through circumcision made them the only ones truly qualified to the righteous status of God. But Paul would declare unto them that true circumcision were those who worship God in spirit because that circumcision required a cutting away or removal of the things in the heart. Yeah. See, 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 sometimes we have things in our heart that does not please God and has to be moved out of the way. So that circumcision in the heart, so that there would be a spiritual dedication unto the Lord. Now Paul wanted to set the record straight that because they were boasting of an outer work of the flesh, they relied on their fleshly abilities. See, they thought because that they did uh, externally or to their flesh that they would override what was done internally, which was matters of the heart. They thought that they were justified by them keeping the law and being circumcised outwardly. But Paul did not want them to make no mistake about it, that that righteousness could not be achieved through nothing that had been done. But righteousness was achieved through Christ and Christ alone. Amen. Paul states his claim that if anyone had a reason to brag, he was one more qualified to do so. Paul began to roll out his credentials, yeah, yeah. which he possessed through the birth, which was, he said in verse 5, he said, I was circumcised the eighth day. Uh -huh. See, in accordance to the law, uh, uh, Paul was circumcised because that's what the law required. Paul Amen. said, I done that. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. then uh, uh, it says, I am of the stock of Benjamin. And, and that means that he was a descendant of Abraham. Hallelujah. And then he said, of the tribe of Benjamin. See, the tribe of Benjamin, they was aligned with the tribe of Judah. And, and, and then he said, uh, uh, the a Hebrews of Hebrews. That means he was raised by his parents as a Hebrew. And he was a Hebrew. Then he went on to say, as touching the law, a Pharisee. Amen. That means that he was of the upper echelon. How many of y'all believe that? Sometimes I've seen some people, they think they all that in a bag of chips from where they came from and everything. They was up. He was the upper elite. Amen. And then it says concerning zeal, he was persecuting the church, yeah. meaning that he was opposing those who were with God. And any time that you are against God, you are not for God. So Paul was persecuting the church Amen. until he had his Damascus Road experience. Amen. And some of us sometimes we have to have a Damascus Road experience in order for us to be brought low. Because see, sometimes we think that we are all that and we can get puffed up in ourselves. You know, I'm talking about a celebration. You know, you know, because sometimes we forget where we come from. Amen. And so we got to realize that it was God who had made us. It was God who allowed it. It was God who did it. Amen. Amen. And we can't give anybody the credit but God. And then he said, 
said, touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless. Because of their wealth, they felt like that they were untouchable. Sometimes when we got money and we think we got it all, all in full pockets, we think that we all that, amen. But Paul was thinking that the cause of all the wealth that they were blameless. But how many of you know your money can't buy and it can't take you, hallelujah, with the spirit of God? In the name of Jesus, I feel like preaching a little bit in here. Uh, uh, but saints, today, the question that I have for you, and this is my title, can I brag on God? Uh, see, because we can brag on a lot of things. I was up here, I was talking about my celebration. But can I brag on God? Can I brag on God? The one, hallelujah, who can make a way out of no way. The one who closed, who, who closed Hey, the one who keeps the doors closed when somebody don't want you in there. Hallelujah. Can I brag on that one? Amen. 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 The word brag is uh, in biblical sense is exaltation. It means uh, that it is extreme elevation. Amen. And, and the scripture says in John 12 and 32, it says, and if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. See what's going on is that we're not draw, we're not lifting God up enough. If we lifting ourselves up enough, we wondering where is God. But if God be lifted up, He said He'll draw all men unto Him. So that means we got to lift God up in there in order for men to be drawn. Sometimes we wonder where is the church in all of this. But if God be lifted up, He'll draw all men. Unto him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can I brag on God? Amen. I, I, I like to brag for the B. The B is that he is the bread of life. In John 16, 35, it says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. When we look at the bread, we look at something that can sustain us when we are hungry. Amen. The Jews were looking up to Jesus for that physical food, Brother Edwards. Amen. Amen. And this is one of the I am statements Come in on, him man. declaring that he is the sustainer of everyday life. Uh, because he is essential for life. Yeah. Second of all, Jesus was not speaking of the natural, but he was speaking about the eternal life. Yeah. See, while wow, they were focusing on the physical bread, yes. because the physical bread satisfied them only temporarily. Yeah. All right. yeah. I, woo, Lord, yeah. have mercy. Yeah. But then Jesus, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. he was trying to get them to focus on the bread which was spiritual. And that bread led to eternal life. Yeah. Amen. And then, so in the, in the brag, we want to go to the R. I want to tell you that he is a redeemer. Hallelujah. That means that he is the one that buys back. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 6 and 20, it says, For we are bought with the price. Amen. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. See, if you glorify God in your spirit, uh -huh. amen, and in your body, uh -huh. because see, if we belong to Christ, yes. then the spirit has taken up residency, residency. Am I right about it? And so then we are no longer our own, but now we belong to him. And so now that we belong to him, we glorify him in our body, amen, and in our spirit, amen, amen, amen. He is the redeemer, amen. Uh, uh, because a man disobedient, the punishment was death. But Christ came and died, and he redeemed mankind back to God. But the scripture says that without the shedding of blood, that there is no redemption for sin, amen, amen. There is no remission. See, sin separated man from God. And then God, uh, 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 and then they came with the blood of goats and bullocks, amen. And, and, and that could not satisfy the 
sin payment, but it took a man, Jesus, who knew no sin to become sin for us, amen, and reconcile us back to God. For what the law could not do, Jesus came and did in the flesh. Am I right about it? See, the law could not save them. Man needed a savior, and that's who that savior is. His name is none other than Jesus Christ. Can I brag on God? Hallelujah. And then uh, uh, the A means that he is an advocate. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The Greek word for advocate is a paraclete, which means that it comes alongside. Amen. It is one who pleads another person called and one who helps by defending or comforting him. Yeah. And John 14, 16, it says, and I will pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, and that he may do what come alongside, that he may abide in you forever. Jesus made intercession for us. What does that mean? It means that he intercedes on our behalf. He pleads to God on our behalf. Uh, amen. Deacon Edwards, he pleads for God on our behalf. Where Carolyn has messed up with God, Jesus, he interceded. He said, God, that's my child, the one you gave me. And so, God, I want to stand in the gap for her. I know she's all right, God, but she messed up this time. Amen. And then some of us in our instance, we have messed up. But Jesus, thank be to God that I got a God that I can brag about. And anybody here mind me bragging on God? If anybody here mind me telling that Jesus is our all in all, he our Savior, he is our advocate. Amen, amen. Uh, Jesus, he is our intercessor. And he uh, is our person and say for those of you who ever been to court you know when you go to court you gotta hire a lawyer sometimes to speak for you now you can go in there all you want to be and pay and thinking that you can represent yourself and you read out of there with your tail between your legs but you hire a lawyer as an advocate as someone to plead to the judge for you but how about our god on our, our behalf and plead to God the Father on behalf of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he abides in us. The Holy Ghost abides with us. It said that he will lead us and guide us into all truth. Amen. Amen. To, to abide uh, means to dwell. Yeah. Uh -huh. It means to take up residence. Uh -huh. it, 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 and, and enriches the believer yes. in their every Daily life. Amen. 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 It enriches the believer. See, see, as we uh, come into our walk with Christ, uh -huh. the things that we used to do, uh -huh. we still have those things uh, uh, that has, uh, 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 we have some residue. Uh -huh. Amen. And so the scripture said, when I try to do good, uh -huh. evil is still all around me. Amen. Amen. Evil is still all around me. And it ain't just in, in, in your house. It ain't just in my house. It ain't just at the schoolhouse. It ain't just at the workplace. It ain't just uh, uh, down in the store. It's everywhere. Evil is ever present. Amen. Amen. And then for the G in the bright. God is the great I am. Uh, Exodus 3 and 14 said, God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me. Who do you say has sent you? Tell them, I am has sent me. God commanded Moses to go back to Egypt and lead the people out. God was reassuring Moses and Israel that he is the all-sufficient God and that, that he was everything that they needed and that he was a God of more than enough. Can I get a witness? They used to have a song we shouted to when we were young that said, you need what you need, God got I remember my grandma, they, they be dancing off of that song and celebrating that what you need, God's got it. And even today, we need to know that what you need, God's got it. If you need a healer, God's got it. If you need bread, God's got it. If you thirsty, God's got it. Hallelujah. Can I brag on God? Yay, yay, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Can I brag on? Can I brag on the one yeah, who brought me out? Isaiah 53 and 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. Amen. Can I brag? on God. Yeah. I, I want to brag on the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. The one who changes not. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, man, I change, but God yeah. never changes. You can count on God. Amen. Yeah. You can call on him early in the morning. You can call on him late yeah. in the evening, but yeah. then don't mess around in the midnight hour and get the cry. Because I 
am holy. Amen. Amen. Just as Christ was ordained and he was the perfect sacrifice, he wants us to live unto him. Amen. Holy as well. And then let me talk about his credentials. Come on now. John 8 and 14 says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I am going. But you cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. There are no loopholes or anything hidden about our God. He is authentic. He is flawless. He is perfect in all of his ways. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. Can I brag on God? Is there anybody in here who can stand with me and brag on the God that we serve? Did he break you out of something when you know that an accident could have killed you? But God, amen. Can I brag about hallelujah? The one, hallelujah, who with the woman with the issue of blood was able to touch him and then her sticks dried up immediately. Can I brag about it, Lord? Hallelujah. Can I brag about it? You can brag about it yourself because it's something that God did for you, amen. Hallelujah. That you can brag about. That you can tell somebody about. Amen. 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 In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was from the beginning with God. Christ is the word. Yes. And because he is the word, we must do what? A study the word in order to apply the word. Preach. When we apply the word, uh -huh. the word will accomplish everything that it is intended to do. Amen. God watches over his word Amen. so that he may do what? Perform it. Amen. If you need anything from God. God's got it today. Yeah. Amen. He said his word will not return unto him void. God is not man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man that he should repent. If God said it, God shall do it. You can take that as my grandma said to the bank. Hey, hallelujah. And when you take it to the bank, you can leave it there as long as you want. But when you come back, it's still going to be good because it's God's word. Amen. You can count on God's word. Amen. Don't play with it. Hey, don't play with it. If you ain't ready, stay away from it because this word is no play talk. Amen. Can I brag on God? He said it's in him that we live. We move and have all of our being. Hey, I can brag on it because we outside here and I'm making use of my limbs. You can brag on it because you got your limbs and then you can walk. Amen. Reverend Allen, you can brag on it because you got eyes you can see. Amen. And I know we all can brag on God. Can we open up our mouth and brag on it and give him a hallelujah for it is the highest hope. I don't mind bragging on God because I know what God brought me from. Amen. 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 Can I pray yeah. on God? Because let me tell you something. We're living in a time. Yes. That flesh. We see it all over the place. Flesh is doing amen. Flesh is a mess. Flesh is doing all that is big and bad enough to do. And it's not just outside, but it's in the house of God. And God is getting tired of that. Yeah. Because if we're going to lead people to Christ, yeah. we're going to have to live for Christ. Yeah. And we're going to have to do the business of Christ. And can I brag about my God? Yeah. Because even when he was on the cross, come on. he said, I come that I may do the will of the one who sent me. See, I believe that at the time when Jesus was on the cross, at some point, he had some agony going on. Because he said unto the Lord, Lord, if it be thy will, then let this cup pass from me. Sometimes, saints, we're going to go through some things, and it's going to be hard for us to endure. But if I'm bragging on God that he will take us through 
it because Jesus Christ said unto the Father, he said, nevertheless, yes. not my will, yes. but thy will yes. be done. Yes. And I say on today, Come on. you could brag on God. Yes. But while you're bragging, let God's will be done in your yes. life. Yes. Because Jesus Christ yes. crucified for us. Yes, he not because of anything we done. He done. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we're not all that in a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. You know, and ain't thinking yourself don't stink. <laughs> Just because you got a bad suit on <laughs> and, a, and, and, and a loop or two or whatever them shoes are. I ain't got no pair of them. But just because of that, just because of that, it don't make us nobody. Because let me tell you something, we are nobody if we don't have Christ. But Christ made us somebody because he told the disciples to tarry and wait for him yeah. in Jerusalem. Yeah. Wait for the power. See, because they had been following Jesus. Yes. But see, if they left before Jesus came, they would have been powerless. Yes. But when he said wait, and they waited, yes. now they are empowered the way we are empowered to be able to go out and tell somebody yes. about this God oh, yeah. who can change their life yes. because that's what we're in the business for to lead the sinner yes. to Christ. Yes. Can I pray yes. about yes. God? Yes. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lady, and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Uh -huh. Why not? If you are viewing out there on Facebook and if you are looking at us today and you don't know God, why not? You need to get to know Him because there's so many things that are happening today and it's happening at a rapid pace. Yes. And we need to know Jesus yes. as our personal Yes. And now one thing about coming to Jesus, we, we're not going to get it right. We're not going to have everything right. We're not going to do everything right. But now that when we falter, mm -hmm. we have an advocate that we can go to. Amen. In the name of Jesus, yes. and that advocate Amen. can take us in just as we are. Yes. Amen. 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 in your hands. Amen. Amen. Every heart all over the building stand. Yes. Amen. And if there's anything in your heart that you need and desire for God to do and to move on today, we ask that you lay it at your feet yes, Lord. right now so that you can brag on God be able to say that he brought me out of my situation. Yes. Father God, now in the mighty name of Jesus, we trust you today, oh God. We thank you for your word, oh God, for your word is true. We thank you for the fellowship, oh God, that has come from breast to breast and moved from mind to mind and spirit to spirit, oh God. Father, keep us together, oh God, with one accord, abiding in you, oh God, your saints, oh God. And Father, as we live in these trying times, oh God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you keep us, oh God. 
Father God, for Jesus pray, don't take us out of the world, oh God. But Father God, we pray for your protection. Father God, we honor, Father God, the angel of this house, Pastor John Langley, in his absence, oh God, we ask that you continue to endow him, oh God, with your Holy Ghost, oh God, and Father, give him a fresh anointing for the season, oh God, and Father God, as this season is new beginnings, oh God, let us walk forward, oh God, and not look back, oh God, but Father God, you, Father God, are doing a new thing in us, oh God, and we pray, Father God, for each time we pray for the deacon, oh God, who has come to serve. We thank for the young ladies and the gentlemen, oh God, with the ensemble and the singing, oh God. And we thank you for rivers of life, oh God. And I thank you for my husband and my daughter, oh God, that has come, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, as we have fellowship and we have broken bread together, oh God, let us not leave it here, oh God, but we ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you go with each one of us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, and now us with your presence until we meet again in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we honor you, oh God, and we thank you. And most of all, we love you, God. Hallelujah. Dwell with us now and forever. It's in, if it, there's anyone in here that is sick among us, oh God, we pray for a supernatural healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, that you release the anointing, oh God. Father God, that will change, Father God, their lives forever in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we give all things unto you because you do all things well. And we thank you and we love you. Now every heart and mind are clear. Now may the grace of God and the sweetness, communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forever. And we all say amen. 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 amen.